Hey everyone, my name is Steve, and today we're going to talk about why developers should use IPFS for Farcaster clients. Before we get into why, let me tell a little story. A few weeks ago, I was on Warpcast, which is the primary client for Farcaster, and I was posting a bunch of photos into the photography channel. And pretty quickly, I realized that the images were basically optimized by Ender. And as a developer, I get it, because when you're building a client like this, you want it to be fast. You don't want really large images to slow you down. And you need something that can handle lots of media. But on the flip side, there's the user experience that you have to trade off with. Because I, as a user, was very displeased to see that my photos looked so terrible. So I thought about it and I said, this is something I think IPFS can solve. And so a week later, I built photocaster.xyz, which is a photo-based Farcaster client. Let me go into a few details about how it works. When you upload a file to Photocaster to cast as an image into a channel, it's going to upload the full resolution image to IPFS. And if you know about IPFS, then you'll know that the quality of that image is going to be exactly as it was on your device. There's no kind of optimization that happens as it travels to IPFS. It is kept completely intact and immutable, just the way you left it. But I still have the same problem, technically, as a developer, where if everybody's uploading really big images, then Photocaster is going to be slow. But that's where dedicated gateways come in, because Pinata's dedicated gateways come in with two things. One, built-in image optimizations that I can do on the fly through query parameters, and a built-in CDN, which makes retrieving the content a second time much faster. And so what I did in Photocaster is that when you're crafting the cast add body, which is the thing that actually goes to the Farcaster network, I add a query parameter to optimize the images just a little bit, just within the bounds of this is acceptable to put on a web client without crunching the quality too much. But I also have a special little button on the photos uploaded through Photocaster. As you're scrolling through, you'll see a little maximize button. And when you click on that, it's going to actually load the full res image from IPFS. Because since we already have the full file on IPFS, I can either show you the optimized version or I can show you the larger version. The other great thing is that since I'm using this optimized gateway URL in my embed cast, anytime another client has to load up that image, it's going to be pretty quick for them. It's not going to be a huge image and it's not going to cause them problems. And so now with Photocaster, I kind of have the best of both worlds. I can let people upload the full quality resolution image that they want to see that is optimized to a good point, but they can still look at the full res if they want to. In my opinion, I think this is a perfect example of why IPFS is a great pair for Farcaster clients. Because going a bit deeper into the Farcaster protocol, you'll find out that media is just not supported by default. There's text and there's maybe mentions and likes, but when it comes to images, those are embed objects, which is just a URL to somewhere else. Because of that, clients that are building on Farcaster have to find their own solutions. And I think IPFS fills this gap in a very similar, sufficiently decentralized manner that Farcaster operates in. Like I said earlier, content uploaded to IPFS is immutable. It can't be altered or changed, and that's kind of a good thing to have on a decentralized social media. However, content streamed from IPFS through dedicated gateways can be both optimized and cached for faster speeds. And since IPFS is an open protocol just like Farcaster, content moderation is going to fall in the hands of the client. The client gets to decide what stays and what goes. Or if they want some help from a pinning provider like Pinata, that could be an option as well. So yeah, I think IPFS and Farcaster make sense. IPFS supports any kind of file, whether you're dealing with images, video, 3D files, or even something like text or PDF. It supports all of them. And it's in a protocol that is open that anybody can access, whether you're using Pinata or not. If you want to learn more about Farcaster clients in depth, check out the blog post below showing how we built Photocaster.xyz along with the source code. Pinata is here to empower the next wave of developers building it on Farcaster and IPFS, giving you the tools you need. And we can't wait to see what you build. Until next time, happy pinning.